Hi guys, it is June 19, 2019. No, our weather terrorists are not letting up. In fact, they're out of control. Can you imagine being someone sitting at a computer and typing on your keyboard specific instructions for Doppler radar, for our Gwen Towers to emit extremely low frequencies? to modify, to manipulate, to intensify weather events that destroy your fellow human beings. Can you imagine? Can you imagine being someone who sits at a computer and programs artificial intelligence, artificial intelligent weather to bring about destruction? Can you imagine being someone who hears about all of the technology that we have, hears from someone who is telling them whether is being used as a weapon? Can you imagine being that individual who rolls their eyes, considers them crazy, and just walks off and never does any research considering that we now are living in a whole new era of technocracy, technology. They use smartphones, they use computers, they have the internet, but they will never do the research to find out. Can you imagine being these people. I can't. But I also try, I've tried to imagine filming like this man is, this over Texas, somewhere in Texas, looking at it and not recognizing how unusual it is, the obvious, smack in everyone's face now that something is seriously wrong all right i'm going to play just a few seconds of this hi this is scoggett and i'm out again uh it's been uh, about 17 minutes since my last video and i've come out because i want to film this uh cloud right here uh it seems to have like a rotation to it that's that's what catch my eye if you can look at it you can see like the uh, uh, inside right there it looks like it's spinning okay did you notice anything unusual about this do you notice how it's not moving do you notice how low it is and do you notice that all of this behind this cloud is just what? It, it, where's the sky? Do you notice all of the black crap in this so-called cloud? Okay, this is not a natural tornado and it's not how natural tornadoes form. It's sitting right above this guy in the same place not moving. I don't know, I can't see the spinning that he is talking about above, but I do have on my channel, on playlist weather modification, geoengineering, perhaps both playlists or one or the other, the creation of a thunderstorm right above my head in Anderson, South Carolina. I have on film posted on YouTube the creation of a thunderstorm, watching it being created over my head all of the frequencies in use, morphing the clouds into a big roll, dark roll cloud. It sat above my head and I just watched it be transformed and then they unleashed it. Then it started to move. What did it bring? It brought a little bit of thunder and a fine mist of rain. 
that was the thunderstorm, people are recognizing what is very obvious. It is right in their face. Nothing is the same anymore. Okay, uh, it's very frustrating because this is creating so much damage. South America power cut leaves 48 million people without electricity. And I got an email from somebody who said, uh, in capital letters, are we next? Of course. Of course. The power goes out all the time. Now, they, they have different ways of creating havoc and destruction all over the world. And I guess on the United States menu is, well, now it's the new normal. Severe weather. Severe weather. Every single day, severe weather. And then some days it's more severe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, setting and smashing extreme temperature records over the coming century. Now, I do want to thank my subscriber and subscribers uh, who have sent me articles and one article related, it was CNN, it related to this June 17, 2019 publication in Nature, Climate Change, setting and smashing extreme temperature records over the coming century. Changes in the intensity or frequency of extreme climate events can profoundly increase the disruption caused by climate change. The more extreme these events, the greater the potential to push ecosystems and communities beyond their ability to cope. Guess what? And I will be posting videos, so what I am saying will be confirmed. There are so many communities, the residents getting together with their local government officials to discuss the changes necessary to adapt to climate change, how they can protect themselves from repeated flooding. But nobody will look into weather modification and weather being used as a weapon. And it is very obvious now. Here we examine future events that will be so extreme that they will not have experienced previously. That they will not have been experienced previously. It's getting more extreme. Hang on to your hats. And those of you who still have that uh, notion that you're invincible, I hope you really think about that. Because they're bringing tornadoes everywhere. Large hail. They're bringing winds that are knocking down trees, falling onto homes. They're bringing on flash flooding over and over and over again. And there are many communities now experiencing it repeatedly. Repeatedly. And it is heartbreaking to see this. And then imagine, imagine that you're living in these communities and this is what is taking place over and over and over again. How do you, how do you recover? Well, hopefully you have a shitload of money and a good support system. But I will tell you, that's the minority, not the majority. You know, I look at this and I think, oh my God, Japan, tsunami warning with an earthquake that was off the coast of 6.2, I believe, and they had a tsunami warning. Well, it was lifted. Can you imagine, can you imagine living in Japan and getting a tsunami warning? Considering, considering the tsunami that hit after their, what, 9.0 earthquake, Fukushima, yeah. It's also about 
it's about ridding all people of security, peace, and inducing a trauma that people will just never feel safe again. This is no joke. I am not exaggerating. When you read the articles, which I'll point out in one second, you know that that is part of the agenda. So even if you haven't been hit yet, looking at all of this severe weather, it does induce fear in a lot of people. Big storms to rattle, drench, and rattle, rattle and drench Florida into Wednesday evening. And Florida now, it's your turn. Oh, and what did they say? Here. Storms firing up. Moving toward Jacksonville from the west. Showers and storms have developed across the Swanee River Valley. Isolated storms, likely Thursday into Friday, too. Firing up the storms. And that's exactly what they're doing. That's exactly what they're doing. Hey, yeah, well, here, June 18, so Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth, have you not had days and days of severe weather? Guess what? Forecasters are saying severe storms will form late Wednesday afternoon and then move toward the Dallas-Fort Worth area. The window is likely between 5 p.m. and midnight. And very often when you read these articles, what, what do you read? You read, and it could possibly go on throughout the week. Everything is potential, possible, um, because forecasters cannot forecast weather anymore. Not when man is controlling weather, not when artificial intelligence is used to control weather. So these forecasters will eventually look like such idiots. Well, they do already to us, but um, I do hear from a lot of people who are clueless about the weather being modified and controlled by men, but they are saying, oh my God, they laugh at the local forecasters here in Anderson, South Carolina. Thunderstorms for Wednesday and it's sunny. Or they say, isn't it a great day? It's a sunny day here. Beautiful. And you look at the sky and it's filled with clouds that have been manufactured. It's filled with haze. Yeah. Uh, a um, subscriber sent me these pictures from Phoenix, Arizona. Really? Now, my computer sucks. So, come on. Bring up the image. <laughs> I love it. Mm. Okay. Phoenix, Arizona. And she writes... Something like, this is fucking normal. People aren't noticing this. Farmers aren't no noticing this. Native Americans aren't noticing something is very wrong. I'm going to show you some videos. You'll understand why I'm saying that. Why aren't they seeing the drastic changes? Why do they justify in their own minds well, we have more air traffic. God, they're just contrails, but climate change is making them not dissipate anymore. Climate change is changing the atmosphere, and our contrails don't dissipate. They just spread out. People will just make up, manufacture something in their own mind, 
And what they're not noticing is the manufacturing of justifications for what they are seeing because they haven't done any research. They haven't looked into it. But they don't even notice the obvious. Hey, I'm, I'm manufacturing a justification for what I am seeing. None of this is normal. None of it. And then when you think about all of the toxic chemicals and heavy metals that we breathe, then put together, that we are no longer a healthy nation, we are a profoundly sick nation with exponential uh, increases in diseases and syndromes and uh, I, do you know anyone who is well? I see some people who look well when I go for a walk and they're running but when I move about in this community I look, I observe the people and they look so sick, exhausted so many are obese, but it's like no one walks with, with you know, a, uh, a healthy step anymore. And they look, they don't look well. Now, I'm one of them, but are they not, aren't they, they don't, it's like you got to connect the dots here, but people don't do it. So yeah, will we see tornadoes Wednesday? Severe threat also includes hail, wind, heavy rain everywhere. The forecasts now include large hail, uh, you, uh, 80 mile per hour winds. That's hurricane winds on land, heavy rain, flash flooding, Winds and every forecast, trees will come down, power lines will come down. It's happening all over the country, but also in other countries, England. And I've been collecting, oh man, the weather that's happening in other countries. So I hope to post another video, but yeah, get ready to get hit again. Dallas, Fort Worth, Florida, Jacksonville. Flooding heavy rain, small earthquake, and two tornadoes hit northeast Ohio in 24 hour span. Wow. And severe storms uproot trees, cause damage in Oklahoma. Halls now, Valley, we're told that several semis were flipped over, over in this area. Yeah. Severe storms packing heavy rain and high winds move across much of Oklahoma, Oklahoma early Wednesday morning uprooting trees, knocking over semi-trucks, and damaging homes in parts of the state. It's a repeated happening now. It's happening across the country every day. Every day. So I do believe they have ramped up this weather war because it was a fact that there were less people believing in climate change than those who didn't believe in climate change. They're forcing upon people. They, they're bringing so much destruction and repeated destruction because they want people on their knees begging, Al Gore, please do something. Please now, I believe you, I believe you, please. Please, I don't care how much it costs me, when Americans, the majority, are living paycheck to paycheck. Farmers have been so destroyed, they ain't getting a paycheck. Um, yes, I've seen mainstream media articles, and who the hell knows if they're just putting out that lying propaganda again. More Americans believe in climate change due to the flooding. Wow. Well, it is 
part of the agenda, the manipulation. Oh, we're in trouble, guys. We are in such trouble. Storm risk upgraded a bit for part of Alabama on Wednesday. Yes. Here, look at this. An anti-cyclonic tornado, excuse me, South Dakota. Anti-cyclonic tornado. Very rare. Let's look at what was happening June 15. This anti-cyclonic tornado. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a zoom in on what was happening with these frequencies being shot off into South Dakota. Right here. This was uh, late afternoon in South Dakota. But look at how lined up these storms are. Right on the border, South Dakota, Minnesota, and the storms move in to Minnesota. But look at all of these frequencies being shot off in South Dakota. Now, I can't definitively say that that's the reason for this anti-cyclonic tornado. But I can say it's got to be figured in. You've got to factor in, factor in the use of frequencies to bring about all of these storms. National Weather Service confirms 10th weekend tornado in Indiana. Okay, there's no, forget about Tornado Alley. Forget about it. We're living a new, a uh, whole new uh, life in a whole new world brought about by those who murdered Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla? God, I'm so bad with pronunciation. Yeah. Steal his brilliance and bring about scalar technology to bring about massive destruction. That's what we're looking at. Look at all of these trees with the fungal disease on it. Weaken all of the trees with the aerosol spraying, the heavy metals and the chemicals used. It destroys the immune systems of trees, weakens them, and then they bring about these storms and the destruction it is not tornadic destruction so what we are seeing are high winds that are produced by scalar technology microwaves extremely low frequencies all of the technology that they are using to modify the weather. They can bring about those winds instantly. We see this kind of, this is, look, look at this tree. Do I have to play the film? No, I don't. This is not a tornado, what we are looking at. And that's the kind of destruction that we see all over the place. But they call them tornadoes. Well, if you're not going to see the obvious, then you're just going to believe all the bullshit you hear from mainstream media. Hey, let, let's listen to this uh, brilliant mainstream media report on that anti-cyclonic tornado in South Dakota. Caliban had a very rare event this weekend, an anti-cyclonic tornado. <laughs> Meteorologist Grant Smith takes a closer look and explains this phenomenon. This has been a crazy year for weather in Kelloland. From heavy snow to too much rain to below average temperatures. Well, it should come as no surprise to learn that this last weekend, Kelloland had a tornado that was spinning the wrong way. 
You might have seen a video going around on Facebook of a tornado in Duhl County, and as usual, the National Weather Service went out the next day to do a report on that tornado. The tornado was rated as an EF0 with winds up to 75 miles per hour. Trees and one building received damage, but further analysis revealed that this was no normal tornado. It was spinning backward. Normally, tornadoes in the northern hemisphere spin cyclonically or counterclockwise, but this tornado came from a storm that split into two, and the left moving storm was able to produce an anticyclonic tornado or a tornado that was spinning clockwise. Now, this was a rare event. Tornadoes in the northern hemisphere that spin like this only count about 1%. Now, looking ahead to the future, our severe weather season is knocking at the door, so we'll see more normal severe weather in Kalaland here within the coming days and weeks. Yes, severe weather now is normal. This little twit, and I'm sorry, look, you know, some people get upset at me when I uh, uh, say things that are not nice about people. I'm sorry. It is his job as a meteorologist to not just spew the propaganda. It is his job to look into all of these anomalies. I don't care that, oh, well, don't you understand, Carol, that they sign these uh, agreements, these confidentiality agreements, that they can't speak the truth. I don't, look, if you don't have a moral core that supersedes that agreement, there's something wrong with you. And, you know, if you don't have that moral core, that says, no, I can't do this. Something's wrong. And yes, I am not excluding myself. Decades I was part of the problem. For decades I was part of the problem. And I have explained all of the work that I have done to get out of being part of the problem. So, it is his duty, obligation, responsibility to check out everything. You do the research on weather modification. You do the research on geoengineering. And then it is your, your, your responsibility to inform those who listen to you. But instead they lie. And it pisses me off. And it should piss everybody off. Anything, have you have you ever seen anything like no this? No one has ever. No one alive here has ever seen anything like this. What Illinois farmer James McCune is talking about is rain, lots of it, which has turned his fields into muddy ponds. We really don't know what to do. I've been farming since I was with my dad since I was a kid. We've never had a year off. McCune was unable to plant 85% of his intended corn acres this year, and he's not alone. I am standing in a muddy field. Just last week, Reuters correspondent Tom Polancic visited Mineral, Illinois, one of the worst hit counties this year. Farmers across the Midwest were unable to plant millions of acres of corn this spring because of heavy rains. Many thought that they would eventually have a chance to put their crops in the ground, but the rains just kept coming. Now they are struggling to figure out how to make money without having crops to grow. The weather-related problems are hitting the entire industry. Less planting means farmers need less seed, herbicides, and equipment than expected. Okay. I said in a video on Kafka Winston World, when I had to pull over, I was driving somewhere, and I had to pull over because the sky was so, it was so clear that something was very wrong with our sky. Well, I knew what was happening due to, you know, the frequencies and the geoengineering and the manufacturing of clouds. But there I am filming it, and I'm standing on a field out, uh, on a farm, and I'm asking. In that video, I said, does this farmer not, is he not connected to nature? Farmers, are you not seeing what is happening in the sky? Do you not see this? Do you not see it? Do you explain it away? 
Are you not seeing the unusual patterns in our clouds? Because I would think that it's the farmers as well as Native Americans that they would be those who are connected to nature. Farmers, you look at the sky to determine the weather. Many of you actually look at radar to see what's coming. Why, why do we have farmers who are clearly not seeing what is taking place? It, it, I'm sorry. It's up to you to recognize that something is amiss and then to do the research to find out what the hell is going on. You are being attacked. Think of yourself as an enemy of the state and they are destroying your farms. That is what is going on. They are destroying your livelihood, your income, your families, your homes, your farms, your property. They're taking it all away via weather. Weather being used as a weapon. So, here we have Washington, Washington, Seattle area. Port Orchard businesses work to rebound after EF2 tornado in Washington. Okay. Sorry. For, for Sherry Patrick, I'm putting a 10 foot window in. Her business. And they just tore all this fake wall out today. Bethel Square Restaurant and Lounge still looks like a construction site. <laughs> it's so hard to envision. It really is. She puts on a brave face, but she'll also tell you she feels broken. I'm used to working seven days a week. And now I've been home for six months. Um, a part of me is gone. Time. That's what happens. This is what happens. A part of you is gone. You lose a part of who you used to be. This is not just physical destruction. This, the psychological impact, the mental impact, the stress, the frustration, the overwhelm. So when you look at all of this destruction, then add on all of the internal destruction that is occurring in every individual. So, no, I do not ever want to exclude anyone. Now, what is taking place? I, I, this is a three minute video. Please watch it because I'm a little struck with why, why are farmers, why are Native Americans not recognizing what is taking place? that all water protectors wear red in solidarity for Red Barn until she is free. When a bomb cyclone hit the Midwest last month, it sparked major flooding in South Dakota. But the massive storm also devastated Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in South Dakota. The Oglala Sioux Tribe declared its own state of emergency and is appealing directly to FEMA for disaster relief funds. Tribal leaders want President Trump to declare an emergency to speed up the recovery process. The flooding washed out roads and bridges, trapping some Native Americans in their homes for nearly two weeks without access to food and water. On March 14th, a bomb cyclone ripped through our lives at Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. Warm weather soon turned to record floods, causing devastation throughout the land. 
As people who are connected to the elements, we began to ask ourselves, what is the water telling us? The water left many of us stranded without food, power, medicine, and water for weeks. It damaged our homes and destroyed hundreds of miles of roads. Our schools closed and life came to a halt at Pine Ridge. Donations of food, water, and supplies arrived from across the nation. We began to organize, traveling thousands of miles that cross our lands to reach our isolated neighbors, demolishing and rebuilding, tearing out walls filled with mold and replacing drywall, improving roads and reinforcing vulnerable creek sides. But despite our best efforts, it is not enough. With tribal funds exhausted, the damages remain in the millions. Has the water created this moment for us to pause and ask ourselves who we are and where we're going? We are the Oglala Lakota Oyate, people with a deep relationship to the water and the land. Mitakuye Oyasin means that we are all related. There is no hierarchy. No one is above or beneath. We understand the interconnectedness of all living beings and the importance of living in balance. In many ways, we have lost our way. We have been distracted by simply trying to survive. We've survived the catastrophic impacts of colonization and European disease, the unprecedented genocide of 90% of our relatives across the land, and the forced removal of our people from our spiritual and ancestral homelands. But against great odds, we are still here. This flood, although devastating, has given us the opportunity to pause, recenter, and remember to dream, innovate, and regenerate in a way that is in balance with who we are, to reimagine ways we can create harmony on earth before it's too late. But we cannot do this alone. The time is urgent and the need is real. Help us build the future of indigenous sovereignty and sustainability here at Pine Ridge. Please visit OyateRising.com to bring disaster relief to Pine Ridge today. All right, well, it's upsetting to hear the, the word sustainability, but yeah, um, it doesn't matter what religion you fall under, uh, the skin color, the ethnicity, nationality, if you are programmed, if you are uh, disconnected uh, from nature that means you're disconnected from your own self you're not recognizing that we are at war and you know playing this I could imagine a lot of subscribers writing oh god you know I'm so t sick of you know hearing about how uh, they were destroyed when we first came they had every opportunity to pick themselves up. No, enough of that. First of all, we have never resolved our past collectively as the individual never resolves their individual past. So we have become a profoundly sick and evil nation. And if you are not recognizing that there have been groups of people who have been held down, then your judgment is baseless. But yes, we are all in this together. And if people do not recognize what is taking place in that sky, if Native Americans are not seeing what's going on in the sky, if farmers don't see what is taking place in our sky, and then start to try to learn, to, to learn what is taking place, all of this destruction, it's just going to spread out, affecting everyone, we will all be destroyed together. That's what we're in together. We're not in the fight together. We're in the destruction together. 
all links are below.